So another of the first sets you'll need to do after you get your Quizdom set is the remote configuration. And the reason you do this is you just want to make sure everything is reading and so that when you assign one of your students, say Susie Remote 2, every time she gets Remote 2 it will still be that number. So what we need to do is open Quizdom Connect. The icon is like a white box with a reddish Q in it. I have mine minimized down here. I'll go ahead and open that. And then we click up here at the top tab where it says Remotes. And you do at this time have to have that USB drive, the host, plugged into your computer. So once you click on Remotes, you will have a box that appears where you have a few options. Once you get to this screen, you want to click the button that says Assign. And then from here, another box is going to open. Up here at the top where it says Host, there is a drop down menu. You want to go ahead and select your Quizdom host. And then our first step is to hit the Start button. I do recommend turning on the instructor device first and then it will appear in the screen and then the next thing you do is you turn on the remotes so to turn on your Q2 remotes for instance this button in the bottom left hand corner will take care of that the Q2 remotes will then do some blinking and the remote number it takes the number of which you turn them on in so that's how to turn the Q2 remotes on to turn the Q4 remotes on you hold down on the menu key for just a couple of seconds there. And it may say find that and then it'll say Quizdom. So again on the Q4 remotes you hold down on the menu key. And then they turn on. With the Q6 remotes there is an on off button. Pretty intuitive there. Just hold down on that a couple of seconds. And then when they are on, it will say ready. Now it is important with this particular set step, especially if you already have the remote stickers on there for the numbers, that you turn the remotes on in order. Once I have them all on, I click stop, and this actually uh, turns the remotes off. And then to finish up the process, I click OK and OK again. Um, just a note on this process, if you are always using the same set, even if it is a shared set, as long as that remote configuration has been done, done one time on your machine, you don't have to do it again. Now, if you use a set and then next week you end up with another set, you do have to go through the remote configuration. But as long as you are using the same uh, set of remotes, it's something you just do one time. And the remote numbers are saved. So that's the process for remote configuration.